Just five years after its opening, tragedy struck at the Gokulpuri metro station in New Delhi last week when a portion of the boundary wall collapsed, claiming one life and leaving several injured. This is not an isolated case of problems with newly built infrastructure. Earlier last week, the Pragati Maidan Tunnel in Delhi, built at a cost of 777 crore rupees and launched in 2022 with an eye on the G20 summit, was recently deemed useless by authorities. They cited various structural issues, including cracks in concrete, drainage problems and underground seepage. This, even as the project was overrun by delays. According to reports, the Public Works Department has issued a notice to LNT, the company that executed the project, demanding a payment of 500 crore rupees. Unfortunately, the saga of crumbling infrastructure is not new either. According to a news report, the Eastern Peripheral Expressway, a six-lane greenfield project built by the National Highways Authority of India that opened in 2018, has already developed cracks and the streetlights are defunct. The 135-kilometer stretch was constructed at a cost of 11,000 crore rupees. Why does our planning of such infra fall short? Infrastructure expert Devanshu Pandit believes that the method of awarding contracts and selecting consultants needs a relook. So one of the major problem is that we don't have our contracts, uh, you know, process in a right terms. The contracting process is the criteria which are set for the consultants are quite varying between the different projects. So there needs to be some standardization. In consultant selection, we have a huge, you know, marks which is given for the, uh, you know, methodology approach and methodology and so on. But what happens is that, you know, those are all subjective criteria. We and that often results into the selection of the wrong, uh, you know, kind of agencies. Contract administration is the another uh, reason where, you know, we are not able to implement the contract. Everything is written in the contract. All good things are written. But who is implementing them? So you need, you know, good PMCs. You need good third-party agencies. But they have become a rubber stamp these days. These infrastructural lapses have led to the loss of numerous lives across the country. Last August, an under-construction railway bridge collapsed in Mizoram, resulting in the death of at least 26 labourers. Several others were reported missing. And who can forget the harrowing Silkyara tunnel collapse incident in Uttarakhand, where more than 40 workers were trapped for weeks. The Morbi Bridge collapse, which claimed over 141 lives, and the viral video of an under-construction bridge collapse in Bihar last October are some other examples of the pressing issue at hand. These incidents serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of a public infrastructure, whether completed projects or those still under construction. So, how can we ensure accountability in such cases? The procurement model for public assets should ensure uh, that there is no incentive to cut corners in either original build quality or subsequent uh, maintenance and operational practices. That's one. I think the second is enforcement. And here I would like to see authorities move beyond the manual reports of independent engineering agencies and actually implement a more automated camera and sensor-based asset condition monitoring that transmits the real picture on the ground. And I should think we should also consider initiating legal action uh, for poor public asset quality. It is important to note that these lapses are not the result of a race to finish projects on time and within estimated budgets. According to the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation's written response in the Rajya Sabha, in December 2023, of the 1,788 central sector infrastructure projects valued at 150 crore rupees or more, 411 experienced cost overruns. The overruns amounted to 4.3 trillion rupees up to October 2023. Additionally, 837 projects were facing a delay of three years on average. Experts believe that the poor quality of infra may be on account of the government's ambitious infra push, both at the central and state levels. Sometimes these projects run into lapses around ecological, geological and drainage as well as construction methodologies, logistical challenges and local insights. There exists a deficiency in data exchange and collaboration among the various agencies involved in project execution. 
the niti ayog took notice of the problem and came with a technical guide book called indian infrastructure body of knowledge or inbox in 2020 it was developed as the ultimate indian standard for program and management of infrastructure projects but it will take time to fully implement the guideline the problems are likely to persist until then so how can the issue be addressed there is a need for an independent body or a regulatory commission to come in and have the ability to create an impact not by only penalties penalties are very small it's a financial impact but in terms of rating the moment to do a rating and link it to concessional financing the quality of construction will change quality of builders will change quality of people who are involved in the designing will change there should be no public infrastructure created on the epc model at the very least it must be construction with annuity forcing developers to ensure that initial quality uh, is up to the mark to automated condition monitoring should lead to stringent fines for defaults uh, it is also important to involve the public to report on faulty assets and three for loss and damage to life and property if investigations point to asset build and maintenance failures police and project authorities must initiate criminal proceedings beyond mere financial measures With these incidents highlighting the urgent need for rigorous quality control in India's infrastructure projects, experts believe faulty contract systems need to be done away with. Ensuring digitally enhanced surveillance of under construction projects could track the lapses. Experts have also said that an independent body must be created to oversee and standardize the quality of public infra. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard